Hi guys, I'm Bauer. I'm the Young Adult Service Assistant at the Climacomb Public Library and today we are going to make air circuit cards. So because this test is very tedious and very time consuming, um, I made a lot of instructions, I made a lot of mistakes trying to um, just make one of these. I had made about probably a few dozen at this point trying to get it right. So um, we're going to follow the instructions step by step just to make sure we're all on the same page. So our first step is we're going to get our two sheets of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. These are your standard printer paper that um, you can just go and get. And they're going to be, they're about this long and we're going to fold it book wise. So we're going to fold it so it closes in like this to both of our sheets of paper. Once you do that, um, I have a Christmas tree on the front. I printed this out simply because my art skills are not that great. And I printed off two of these. Um, because it'll be easier to map up my circuit, which you will see in a little bit. And if you choose not to print one out, you can draw one freehand, color it. If you would like a template, you can look on the CMPL website under the YA page and find some through there. Um, if you do decide to color it or freehand it, please do that first. If you wait till the end, you do risk ruining your circuit and potentially not getting it to work. And once you see how long of a process it takes, you will hate yourself for it, like I did at some points. So um, once we fold our pieces, once we color it and everything, um, you can pause it here to continue. It's coloring and everything. And once you unpause it, we'll be on our next step. So our next step will be, um, we're going to grab our main piece of paper, the one we drew on. And you're going to poke holes in it on where you want your LED to go. I'm doing just one circuit, so I have just one hole in my star. Um, you want to make sure the hole is big enough to where your LED light will fit through without problem, without a problem. Um, then once we do this, we're going to fold um, our other paper and have it inserted into our first one. So you're going to take this one and open it. And then you're just going to take your other one on the other piece of paper and just put it inside. So what's going to happen is we're going to put our circuit on this page and when we close it the light will pop out and all we have to do is hit our button and it will um, get our circuit to light up. So um, you can take it out. Once you get um, all your lights lined up and everything you want to be able to identify where on your other piece of paper it's going to go. Because mine is in the star, I don't have markings on this one, but um, you will see the one with the circuit though. So um, once you do that, you'll grab your the one you want to do your circuit on and you're going to pick your first light. So from what I did on mine is this is what mine is going to look like. I have my LED light, I have my two copper wires my two copper tapes going and I have my battery. So when you're making yours, you don't want your negative and your positive lines to cross. So you don't want to cut this one over through this one to make a shortcut. Otherwise your circuit's not going to light up and you basically just killed the circuit. So you want to keep them separate. You want to make sure you're using non-conductive scotch tape because if it's conductive, you're going to mess up um, your circuit and possibly uh, increase the chance of hurting yourself. So once you do that, you're going to use scotch tape to get everything in place and make sure everything stays in place. And once you're done, you attach your positive tape to your battery and your light will shine. So when you're taping on the battery, you want to make sure that the part the tape's going to go over is not covered. Otherwise, it's not going to light up. And for this part here, this is all one big tape. And I will show you guys how I did that in case you need to do that for yours to save on space and to um, decrease the chance of you ruining your circuit. You also will want to pre-measure how long it will be. Guesstimations are um, great, especially since you can line them directly up to the line you make for your tape. But I will show you exactly how to do that in one second. All right, so if you want to get your copper wire to make that turn like mine did, 
So when we're going to recreate this corner right here, just so you can see how I did it. So you see I have my copper tape going and I still have the back piece attached to it. So I don't have all of it off. So once you get to the end, instead of pulling all off, you're going to take it and you're slowly going to turn it so it starts to go up this way. And once we do that, I'll show you. So once we get it to rotate, you will get this right here. So it's nothing's covered. Uh, this isn't attached. Only this part where my finger is attached. And you're just going to go down this way and push down on your tape to get it to stay in place. Uh, be very careful at this part because you don't want it to um, bend as it's going down. And once you make it start going down, you have your nice solid corner piece and then it's very easy to make your turns doing that especially if you're using multiple lights if you're using multiple lights your positives can connect to the same strip um but you still need to keep them separated there are videos out there that shows you how to do that but for this this is just um so you can get your one circuit done um very easy very simple so now that um once you get to this part and your circuit's done and your light is shining you'll take your main piece in your circuit and just going to insert them to wherever it's supposed your light is supposed to go is where your cart's going to go oh it fell uh -oh. so now that my light is in there you can tell that it's in there because you can see the circuit right underneath you can see that the page is still folded. So all we're gonna do is apply pressure to where it is. And we got our circuit to light up. So um, it a very difficult task, especially the first few times around. So if I would suggest looking up videos first, make sure you have it down, make sure um, your circuits are all connected. If you have to test it as you go, make sure because once you get to the very end the tape is very hard to get off the paper and you'll practically have to restart but i hope you enjoyed this and i can't wait to see you guys next time for our next craft